Hello, let me show you how I do some drums, okay? We have some drums I've previously recorded digitally and we're sending them through this DBX163 into this Tascam cassette mixer through this reverb into the quarter inch machine. And with that, a lot of color and texture will be had through the various travels. It's important for music to travel through different cables and capacitors and devices that add more color, add more texture, add more ethereal luster. I do not think this is calibrated. Nothing is really calibrated, technically. Uh, and you don't want that anyways. This compressor is a little off, so as you can see there's some pretty dynamic changes in the gain. The left fader is turned up all the way to 10, and the second fader is pretty much at 0.5. But it sounds good to me. I have no, no problems with it. Basically, sometimes it's about getting out of the way of the equipment and the music and just letting it do its thing. Uh, less is more. So in the past, I would compress these way more, add way more reverb, and then you just end up with these blown out, drenched samples that uh, are not really versatile because you cannot go back and take it away. So I feel like it's best to go too much and then pull back, you know, see what's, what's too extreme. I don't think any of that was too extreme. I thought all that was good, so. It's the compressor to me that can end up sounding kind of insane. So you just have to be cautious of it because it can be, uh, it can just take your drums and just make them sound like they're uh, being played inside of a bathtub from the 80s. We're over here hitting the meters on the tape machine pretty delicately, honestly. Um, not even close to the red. So this is gonna sound, in my opinion, very noisy, very noisy and very soft and pillowy, I think. And uh, we can hit them a little bit harder, but we can do that later. I think for now it's probably a good time to have a listen to what's going on. It is so hot, it's, it's like uh, 105 today or something like that. I don't really have AC, so um, I think these sound incredible. They sound like the, the environment I'm making them in right now. They just sounds like, they sound sweaty and kind of gross and a little stinky. Let's see what happens if we uh, change the speed. It's gonna bring you back. I'm satisfied. That's the beauty of uh, reusing old mediums. It's just how the tiniest little pieces just jump through. Okay. This sounds great. This is where you can get really experimental and uh, you could record this to, I could record this back to this cassette here and then bring the pitch back up just for another layer of just insane uncertainty. You know, like why would you do that? Good question. We should probably hit the tape a little bit harder and see what happens.
When I'm playing drums, I'm trying to be so much better than I am, and I think that makes me sound at times as a worse drummer because I'm always trying to play out of like my lead. It's just like a good trait in a sense to challenge yourself, but there's gotta be times where you're like, okay, let's focus and like narrow down, and not be flashy and let's get this recording done. That's gonna sound good. There's, there's no way, I guarantee. I guarantee it's gonna sound fantastic. Mostly the jazz. I try to play jazz drums. And I really just can't. I really can't play jazz drums, and that's okay. I'm, I've accepted that, but I still try. Deep down, I really want to be a jazz drummer. But it's amazing how much um, like my desire to do production has changed once I acquired this. Shout out, uh, Graphics Mom. Graphic, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, this Vivian, thank you so much. This is just some bullshit channel splitter, whatever. I mean, it can do great things, I guess, but yeah. Uh, Bobby for the compressor. It's great, man. Best friend. And this reverb I got off Craigslist during quarantine from someone. It's like traveling guy. Had a spring reverb. It's the one thing I was looking for. The one thing I'm looking for. This guy has it. Let's, let's listen to a little bit of this. I mean, essentially what I'm doing is, uh, essentially what I'm doing is real RC20. This is real RC20. This is all the separate RCA, or RC20 modules, but in real physicalities. And I'm not knocking RC20. In fact, it's a beautiful thing. Fucking, my, my favorite plugin. Let's try one more experiment. I'm going to change the, the speed of the tape machine and we're going to record it um, slower. So I guess this is like a review of this tape machine now, I realize. The TIAC X300R EE is great. It's a different sound entirely. And if you change the speed here, this is where you get, uh, you know, effects from drums. I think that sounds just fucking amazing. That just sounds so good to me.
I just realized that uh, synchronizing the audio for this video is going to be almost impossible. Now nah, I'll figure it out.